Hi everyone, it's Nick. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. Okay, in this video today, I'm gonna to be doing another edition of Trendy versus Timeless. This is where I sort of evaluate things that I see in home decor and I talk about whether I think they are timeless and they're gonna be around forever and that they're classic or things that are maybe a little bit trendy. It's kind of like in clothing, right? Like guys, we all have those like Oxford shoes that are in our closet. Those are just classic. They are awesome. They're beautiful and they always look good. Compare that to something like I don't know, like a really puffy, ugly Balenciaga sneaker that are like a thousand bucks and you might go, okay, that is a trend. That is something that maybe looks cool. I mean, I don't think so. I think they're always ugly, but they might look cool now and you might want to indulge in them now, but don't be surprised if in five years you go, I paid a thousand dollars for those. So before we get into those items, let's first hear from our sponsor. I want to thank today's sponsor, which is Audible. Now, if you're not familiar with Audible, they are a monthly subscription service for audiobooks and podcasts. Audiobooks are just super convenient. And Audible makes audiobooks super easy and convenient because you just have access to thousands and thousands of titles. One I wanted to highlight for you today is one of my favorites. It is called Tribes by Seth Godin. It's a really great audiobook that just really gives you a kick of the bum and says, you know what? You just need to get started. You need to try something new and take take risks. And one of my favorite quotes is actually from this audiobook where Seth Godin says, it's not failure that you fear, it's criticism. And honestly, when I heard that, I was in the car and I was like, yeah, I can confess that when starting this channel, it wasn't this channel failing or not getting any subscribers or not getting any views or growing. It's not that that scared me. It was criticism from you guys. I keep coming back to this book over and over because it just reminds me of what really matters and what's really important. So if you wanna try out Audible, you can click on the link in the description or you can go to audible.com slash Nick Lewis or you can text Nick Lewis to 500-500. Thanks again, Audible, for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. Okay, so first item on my list is Boucle furniture. So if you're not familiar with Boucle, it is a type of fabric. It's got a really like interesting, cool texture to it. It is not something that is new to fashion. It is not a new material necessarily. It has been used a lot in specifically women's fashion for many, many decades and it has been used in furniture, but it is very popular right now for couches and armchairs and whatever. I think that boucle, in respect to furniture, is trendy. Um, and here's why. I think that um, it can be really beautiful and add texture, so I'm not saying it's necessarily bad, but the reason why I think it is a trend is that it sort of lacks the durability, I feel, to be able to be incorporated into most people's homes. I think in fashion or in clothing design, I think it can make a lot of sense. Uh, that kind of, you know, a boucle jacket or something might make a lot of sense for someone to have. Sure, 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 that's fine. But a jacket is not the same as a couch, right? A couch is something that you're going to be using every day. It's something people are going to be sleeping on, spilling on, napping on, who knows what else on. And it's probably not going to be able to stand up the way that you think it will. I think the, I just think it doesn't work for the majority of people. And that is ultimately going to hold it back from being a timeless material that we're going to see for decades. But if you want to indulge in that trend in the time being, go for it, have at it. But don't be surprised if you are swapping that out for more durable fabric, something in a performance fabric, something in leather. Um, those materials I think are a lot more durable and a lot more likely to last for most people. Okay, next up, let's talk about the open concept. So a lot of people have said with this pandemic that we're all sick of our families and we're all putting up walls and everybody's like, oh, if you're putting an open concept in a house in 2021, it's gonna look so dated. I disagree. I think the open concept is timeless. Now here's the thing, of course, it's a bit of a like limb that I'm climbing out on because an open concept is something that, you know, is a relatively new concept in terms of decades now. The reason I think it is actually a timeless design at this point is because I think it really just embraces a more modern way of living. But nowadays we're asking a lot out of our kitchens, right? We're asking them to be uh, places for people to sit. A lot of people just really sit and eat at the bar. They maybe don't even sit at their own separate dining area. Uh, we're asking them to be where, you know, the kids are going to be doing their homework. We're asking them to be the office. I mean, we all know those people, maybe you're one of them, that in this pandemic, like busted out the laptop with the giant monitor right there at the kitchen table table. Not exactly ergonomic, can I just say, but we've all been there. We've all seen people do that, right? Like we're asking a lot out of these kitchens. We're expecting them to be multi-purpose. We're expecting them to more fit, I think, a more modern style of how we're living. And so for that reason, the open concept isn't really so much, I think, a 
trend that has just been a really long lasting trend, I think it is something at this point that we can say is going to be timeless for many years to come. And again, it's because we're living differently than we did in the older style kitchens. So I think by combining the kitchen and maybe the dining room and the living room into one sort of more open concept space, I think is just really embracing modern living. And I think it's just more functional for how most people are living in their homes today. And I have a feeling that is going to last well into the future. Okay, next up on my list is handmade or vintage pottery. So this can be sort of any other ceramics, but this is really looking at plates and vases, vases, vessels, whatever you're calling them, uh, decorative bowls, what have you. So these are these pieces, people like me and others are really telling you that this can be a great idea to bring into your home because it brings kind of a little bit of a handcrafted or maybe even a vintage uh, quality or sort of something that is authentically maybe distressed rather than um, you know something that is a little bit more mass produced. So people are buying ceramics or pottery things that are like 50 years old or things that are a thousand years old or things that are just made by local artisans or even made themselves and incorporating that into their home. I think this is something that is timeless. I think this is something that you can know that this is kind of always going to look good because I wouldn't bet against something that has looked good for thousands of years, right? Like ceramics, different types of vintage pottery have always looked good. They have always provided really like an awesome just handcraft and real element into the home. These are items usually that are quite functional, that make sense in your home, and they just give a like handcrafted, beautiful, sort of, but yet so elegant warmth to a space that I think is going to be around for a very long time. So yes, this is an item that is probably trendy right now. You're seeing a lot of people sort of showing off, um, and I feel like ceramicists are becoming like little mini celebrities on Instagram right now, which is amazing. And I think that, uh, yes, it's something that is trendy at the moment, so it's hard sometimes to say when you're in a trend, is this going to be something that is going to be here for a long time? And sometimes that can be really difficult, but I think this is something that has looked good for thousands of years. I think it'll be something that will look good for thousands of, well, maybe not, I don't know about can predict thousands of years, but definitely 10, 15, 20 years for sure. Okay, next up on my list is spherical pillows. Now, for the record, I am not talking about um, just like round pillows. I'm talking about full on spheres. These are like beach balls that people are putting on their sofas. I think this is really embracing sort of the, cur the trend in curves. People are doing a lot of archways. People are looking at these sort of curved furniture pieces. People are really liking curves right now. And it feels like the spherical pillows is part of that trend. Is it something that is a timeless design specifically looking at those pillows? No, I think these are something where people are putting these little boucle balls maybe on their little boucle sofas in order to sort of catch a trend. I think for me, the spherical pillow looks a little bit silly. I think that if you have kids, I mean, not gonna lie, those kids are gonna be playing volleyball with those pillows within about five seconds of them bringing home. So I hope if you're spending a lot of money on these uh, spherical pillows and you have children, just like know that that's going to happen whether you're there or not. Just, you can tell them, but I'm just telling you it's gonna happen. So these little balls that are sitting there, I don't think they're as comfortable as probably a rectangle or a square. I also think that they look a little bit weird and silly on a squared couch. I think they might look a little bit better on a curved couch. But even then, I think they look a little bit funny and kind of a little bit too much like we get it, you like the curve trend and you're on it, but do you really need the pillows to match? And I think this is something that's going to be incredibly niche. I think the curved sofa trend is something that some people are gonna get on, but I think in the end, it's probably going to be quite limited. And then I think the sphere pillows on the round curved couch um, is something that is uh, incredibly niche and probably not going to be embraced by the masses. So I think it will be kind of cool and weird and interesting for a little while, but I think it has already overstated its welcome and I don't think it is something that is going to be timeless. Okay, next up, let's talk rattan and wicker. So this one is probably the hardest one for me, but I'm gonna say rattan, which is a natural material. I'm going to actually say, and I'm going on a limb here, but I am going to say that this is timeless. And I know some of you are gonna say, Say, Nick, I can't believe you're saying that this is obviously a trend because it's in the moment right now. I think things like rattan or you know wicker, caning, we're gonna kind of lump all that together. Um, yes, it goes in and out of style, but I think we can honestly say that it's gone in and out of style so many times that um, there is a timeless quality to rattan. It is a natural material, it is warm, it is inviting. Um, again, and because I think it's a natural material, that for me is what makes it come back over and over again. So I would say this is a material that 
that feels trendy right now because it is, ultimately it is a timeless design that goes in and out of trend. And that's just simply because uh, people find new creative ways of using it and then people ultimately get sick of them and then it goes out of style, but then it always comes back. Um, yes, it will ebb and flow. And yes, rattan will do that too. But I think in the end, it is a timeless material that has been around for a long time. Um, it may sort of go a little bit more out of style, but I don't think it ever will really look truly dated. And you better believe that it will always bounce back because rattan has bounced back many, many times in the past and I think it will continue to do so. So I think it is a material you can be safe to say. And again, I'm the least sure of this one, but I would say this is a material that there is a, just a timeless quality to it. And you know, it'll ebb and flow, but in the end, I wouldn't bet against it. Okay, so that's it for me for today, you guys. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you wanna see my first version of Trendy or Timeless, I will link it here because I think these videos are kind of really fun and uh, I wanna do more of them. So comment below and let me know which ones you want me to talk about. And um, that's it. I'll see you on the next video. Thanks. Bye.